Hello everyone and welcome to this 6.2 guide video. As many of you know, I made an affliction guide a while back and ever since that came out I've been constantly been requested to do a destruction video too. So let's just get right into it. The talent choices for level 15 are really simple. It's either Soul Leech or Dark Regen. Uh, Searing Flames is just straight up trashed here since you should never sacrifice your own DPS to heal yourself, that's why you have a healer and healers usually don't do any DPS, so Searing Flames is just trashed here That's the same with Soul uh, Affliction Soul Leech is just my preferred talent of choice since I uh, keep getting shields throughout the fight For level 30 the, the Howl of Terror and Mortal Coil just doesn't work. Shadow Fury is just an AoE stun and it helps your team immensely well. Soul Leech, exactly the same as Infliction, you just take reduced damage and even have more HP. Sack Pact works relatively well, but again you don't sacrifice you sacrifice your own HP and not your pets, uh, since you won't have a pet. Dark Barging works too. But you will still take a lot of damage, and that's why I just roll Soul Leech, since you just take reduced damage, and this is good. Level 60, we have our only movement speed increase, Burning Rush, so that's an easy pick, and the other two doesn't really work. Level 75, we're going with Sack Pact, or sac sacrifice, uh, sacrifice for this build. You can use uh, Supremacy, but I don't recommend it, especially you no know, shard our mains we will, which we will be using. Level 90 again, exactly as Affliction, you used to have two Dark dark Soul, now has two charges, easy pick, more DPS. And then finally Shard Remains, uh, this is an extremely good talent choice for 6.2. And it will greatly increase your DPS over Cataclysm and Demonic Servitude, especially if you have higher a higher eye level. When it comes to the glyphs, it doesn't really matter. I have Glyph of Eternal Soul used to take less damage. Everything that reduces damage is, is great. And then I'm using Demonic Circle to have more uh, mobil mobil mobility. And Glyph of Healthstone because uh, this is good and heals more than everything else. Alright, so that was the basic talents and glyphs, uh, so let's just get right, get right into the DPS rotation. Um, to start out with, you would want to, of course, buff yourself, health stoning, etc. All of this good stuff, and then I would recommend d uh, sacrificing a Voidwalker, since you can get a big shield for every need, uh, a lot of survivability. So, to start out with, if your radiator doesn't even matter, I don't have DBM. 10. You want to start off with pre potting at 4 or so. And then you start with incinerate, then go right into immolate, Dark Soul, 2 conflagrate, and then you try to get as many backdrafts as possible down to 2. Then you spam Chaos Bolts until you have ran out of Chaos Bolts. Of course, you want to keep immolate up. And then you just want to keep throwing incinerates, keeping the 5 stacks up if you have the class trinkets. And then you want to Chaos Bolt when you have a proc. So right now I got a Sign of the Dark Star trinkets. Then I just want to burn as many Chaos Bolts as possible. This is really the single target DPS rotation. You just keep throwing Chaos Bolts when you have a proc, keep Immolate up, and keep the class trinkets 5 to maximum. So this is really the single target DPS rotation. And especially you cannot cap out the Vembers ever. You should burn a Chaos Bolt before you get capped out. And again, I've got Trinket Prox, so he's gonna do my Chaos Bolts. That's essentially the single target DPS rotation. It's really simple. However, now when we walk over to Cleave targets, is when problems start to arise for multiple people. You do not want to use the class trinket for cleave or AoE for that matter since you never have time to stack up to 5 usually before the trash dies. So instead, the best trinket is actually Gorn Soul 
from the b first boss in Blackrock. You want to replace this with your class trinket, but you still want to use the Shadow Moon Insignia. So when it comes to AoE and cleave generally, you want to keep emulate up on both targets, and you want to have a main target essentially. But you always want to cleave with Havoc. You always want to cleave Shadow Bolts with Havoc. You never ever want to cleave something else with Havoc. It is really bad, and you should not do it. However, if the mob has low HP, then you wanna Havoc and then Shadow Burn as many times as possible on the on the main target. For example, if the main boss has 50% HP, but the trash is inside execute range, you can Havoc on the main boss and then s and then the Shadow Burn on the small add. This will Shadow Burn both targets, and you get three times the damage than you usually would. And if you're facing really heavy AoE, then I would recommend using Cataclysm. But that's only when you're facing really heavy AoE. And that's really never, honestly. The only, only time you use Cataclysm is in challenge modes. But that's not raiding. So Cataclysm for challenge modes, but otherwise shard remains for everything else. Single target, AoE, whatever. And when, and when it comes to AoE, you want to use Fire and Brimstone. But the only time you use Fire and Brimstone is if you have a four or more targets. So the first thing you want to start off with is a Conflict Rate. Sadly I cannot, I don't have any AoE around here, so I used to have to do an Adami. But then you just try to incinerate as many times as possible, and then you decide to do a Immolate on an, on an area. At this point, you just want to keep flinging Incinerates until you have Max, Embers, and then you throw out Chaos Bolts. You, all, you probably only want to do the AoE Chaos Bolt if I had Dark Soul up, because then it will do immense damage. You wanna stack up on Mastery. Enchant Mastery. I don't actually have a single gem, I believe. But go a full out on Mastery. Mastery increases your damage done with uh, Chaos Bolt and your finishers, so that's Shadow Burn and Chaos Bolt. Um, that's about it. So again, thank you for watching, give it a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future, have a nice day, bye bye.